Welcome back to DIY Golf Cart Garage. We're still continuing on our Pawpaw's Tree Climber. We're working on our 2003 EasyGo TXT. So far we've got our lift kit on. We've got our new power plant in here which includes our heavy duty motor, controller, solenoid, four and reverse switch, our huge cables. And now this series we're going to be putting the body on. First thing we're going to do is I've got the body. It's all nice wrapped and camouflaged. We're fixing to go ahead and get this thing mounted. Well, let me grab the back of it, get this thing set on, and let's get this thing riveted down. When you get it on here, make sure that the front, you get that lined up for that forward and reverse switch. You gotta have room for the handle. Now let me grab all the rivets and let's get started putting them in. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do on the back of the car, let's go ahead and put the inspection panel on. And it comes with these little star screws. So let's get these in there. It'll take five all together. Now since I just had this wrap, I gotta try to find all these screws. Screw holes, cause they are covered up. Okay, next, the plastic rivets for the bag well. These are just hammered in. Okay, now that I've got my pop rivet gun, make sure you've got the right size end plate on that so that this can slide right in. Now you've got two on each side, we'll put these two in and then we'll go over to the other side and do the same thing. Now let's get the five rivets going across the front part of the rear body. Okay now for our seat hinges. Now these will take a larger wider head to hold these down. The shank on these is larger, so be sure to change out your end plate here. Now for the other side. Okay, let's not forget the two center ones here. They go in between the two hinges. Okay, now then, we still got our charge receptacle. And we got our four black rivets to go in it. So let's get this run through get it mounted and we can actually go ahead and hook it up. Now that we've got it mounted, let's go ahead and wire it up. Let's take the negative lead and let's hook it up first. Now the positive side, we've got to hook up to this side of the fuse link. Okay, now it's time to get this front cowl on this easy go. But before we do that, let's go ahead and do a little pre-assembly. Let's go ahead and put the nameplate on. It's easier while I can get to the back this way versus waiting until I get it on the car. This comes with the uh, little screw on nuts that screws onto the plastic ends that stick out. Just tighten these down. Got the emblem on the car. Nice and firm. Let's go ahead and get this front cowl on the car. Now the first thing we'll do is we'll come up to the bottom, put the first rivet in. Okay, now there's one on the other side in the same location. Let's go get it, then we'll put the ones across the top. Oh, 
Okay, the front cowl is on. It's secured. It's time for the side seal. All it just snaps on. We have two pop rivets, one that goes in the front and one that goes in the back. Now it's time for the side seal protector plate. It has these little slots right here cut in for these. It just fits right in. And is pot riveted down. Thing is, we're doing this series for, so that the normal everyday person at home can do all this. The factory uses these pop rivets. Without having a special air tool gun to install this, which not everybody has one, you can't get these in. The whole diameters are too large. So what we'll be doing here is using these rounded head bolts to put down through the hole. I have a nut that I'll be putting on the underside of it so that we can actually bolt it down. So all I need to do is push this through, put the nut on the underside, Tighten it down and do one for the front. Okay, then we get a wrench, tighten that down and we'll be done with this side. We'll go to the other side and do the exact same thing. Well, I hope today's episode installing your front cowl and rear body on the EasyGo TXT was helpful for you. If you have any comments or let's say you want to see us change out another part, or upgrade a part, be sure to let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe. And once again, thank you for visiting us here at DIY Golf Car Garage.